Hi guys, I uh, am going to share an incredible story um, from the Lord. So about a week ago, I, uh, I'm listening to a message from Linda Courtney and she talks about a song called God's Got an Army and I had never heard this song before. So I looked it up. Uh, it's a very good song. And I wrote it down so I could learn it. And it comes in different uh, types. Like uh, there's the gospel. There's a, a children's version. And uh, there's one like it's these uh, the soldiers are singing. And there's also the singer Carmen. Carmen, uh, he's got like a more of like a warrior, like a rock and roll version. So, um, so it's Thursday the next day and I'm going to uh, get my vegetables and fruits and then I stop by to see my friend who's volunteering at our local church and I'm kind of excited and I tell her, God's got an army. Deliverance is their songs with healing in their hands, everlasting joy and gladness in their heart. And in this army, I've got a part. I'm telling her like, just quickly, like there's a new song, you know? And, um, and I felt in my heart like the Lord has been telling us to pray more. Uh, and sometimes I pray with her, so I'm kind of conveying this message. So I say bye to her. I go buy the fruits, and I'm now waiting for the bus. And I go into the bus. And so it's going on the, the main street with all the shops are there. And all of a sudden, I hear it. I hear the bagpipes. The bus has to stop. And guys, the whole band of with the bagpipes, the, the Scottish uh, people are coming. And, and like all the traffic is stopped. I start, like I open the window. I have my head out. I see them coming. They're like marching like soldiers with beautiful music. I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to cry. I'm saying like, Lord, is that you? Lord, is that you? And, and I have a special uh, um, connection with these uh, um, parades. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, uh, I love the parades. And, and, and I, I almost felt like, Lord, are you like, giving me a personal treat like my first reaction was that and it was so beautiful and like I said the bus stop and they were passing and uh, they had also these these woods and they were dressed like in full warrior some of them not the band but behind them like you know with a metal thing and the whole thing and uh, later I found out that there was the Highlighter, highlighter Games. I'm saying it the wrong, but the, the Scottish, like, Olympics, right? They, they, they throw these medals and, and javelins and I don't know the names, so I don't want to say too much there. Uh, um, so they were, they, they, they came, that's what happened. So this was the Thursday and on the Sunday there was the highlighter games I believe it's called and uh, here I have a sample I saw in the newspaper look, look so the bagpipes guys lately it's like the Lord is calling us to be a warrior warrior rise he's saying he's been like giving clues all over the place uh, uh, um, just yesterday, I went for breakfast with um, the same friend, and I happened to be at this restaurant, and it was called um, Le Chevalier Blanc, which means the um, the White Knight. And um, 
just uh, last night, uh, that's uh, when I saw all the messages from the different messengers um, and servants of God, uh, like Mike444, he has uh, warriors rise, the message. Uh, and the Lord needs us to rise, to be in intercessors and to pray. It's a call to arms. Uh, and today I put on some of that Celtic music. Yeah, I put on um, music, like Celtic warrior music. And I fell to the ground on my knees. Um, I repented for not being, um, for not focusing on uh, doing the prayers. Um, guys, we are in the last days and the enemy is fast at work night and day and we need to step up to the plate to rise and shine there's a message from our sister uh, Judy Webby it's an old message it's called weapons of mass destruction and I forgot to put the date um, I, I, this is what I wrote. Jesus is our captain, our king. He is the, um, th our leader, you know. And um, in this message, he was saying to us, take back with force what the enemy has stolen. Recover all. Pursue. I wrote Acts 19.15. Tread upon the serpents and his seed. Upon the serpent and his seed. And I will crush him under your feet. Luke 10, 19. Then number three, I wrote like numbers, like our mission. Call upon my name every wicked spirit. No, sorry. Call up by name every wicked spirit, every dominion, every principality, and commanded by my power to be set into outer darkness. Wicked spirits are like spirit of depression, spirit of fear, a spirit of confusion, spirit of laziness, I bind your powers in the name of Jesus and send you to outer darkness. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Number four, seal. Any bridges in the spirit and every aspect of your lives and cover everything with my holy righteous blood, says our captain. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, Yeshua, the Messiah. Number five, pray to me, says our Lord Jesus, to break every chain of command from the highest to the lowest in Satan's year she, in Satan's hierarchy of demons. Ask Jesus to cancel their assignments and effects with his blood. His blood is very powerful, guys, in the spirit realm. So, number six, break the enemy's petitions, take down their stronghold holds, strip them off. Strip them of their attempts to kill souls using my holy blood and speak with great power and authority my holy words. Like I'm thinking Psalms 91 is a good one or Psalms 27 
or even 23 as well. Um, there's a Psalms 144. It's such a warrior um, uh, uh, prayer, that one too. Guys, it's time we learn these Psalms by heart. And um, our Lord said, if we can't just learn them like that, let's sing a song to them. You know, pick a song you like and just, it's time for us to sharpen our swords. And what is the sword of the Spirit? As it says in, in Ephesians 6, the sword is the Word of God. And in the Spirit, we can, we can, that's our weapons. Number seven. Ask me to confuse their communications. This is Satan and his foes. We can ask Jesus to confuse their communication. Number eight, ask me, Jesus, to call upon my angels concerning you in all these situations, and they will powerfully engage on your behalf. Number nine, pray for me to burn the camp of the enemy all over the world with my holy and all-consuming fire, speaking destruction to all that is not of me. Number 10, be the role and aggressively diligent going into all the dark corners of the spiritual realm and bind the enemy with my light. Matthew 18, 18. You are more than conquerors in me. And I am directly guiding you and concealing you with my righteousness and wisdom. Satan will greatly fear you, the fearless, the chosen, the appointed, the sanctified, the overcomers. I am he who is greater in you than anything the adversary can ever phantom. That's in Philippians, I think chapter 5. The hour is terribly late, and I will say it now. It is on. War is on. Weapons of mass destruction. I conquer now through the blood of my sacrifice, and by my name, the name that is above all, above every name, and all things. I promise these things to those who overcome by the blood of my sacrifice and the blood of the Lamb. I will give to eat of the tree of the life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. If you are faithful unto death, I will give you a crown of life. You shall not be hurt by the second death. I will give to eat by the hidden manna and I will give you a white stone, and in this stone written a new name, which no man knows except you who receive it. I will give you the power over the nations, and you shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of the potter, they will be broken to shivers. Even as I receive of my Father, I will give you the morning star. You will be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out the name, your name, out of my book of life. But I will confess your name before my Father and his angels. I will keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and you shall go out no more. And I will write up 
upon you the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon you my name, Yeshua Yamashiach, King of kings and Lord of lords, Master of all creation, Most High, He who was, is, and is to come. Glory to God in the highest, for He alone is worthy of praise. Amen, amen, hallelujah.